Recording. Week 23 of another podcast. <laughs> what were you doing? He's seen the circle. <laughs> Not the shack. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have done that. Uh, <laughs> we got Nick here again. Hello. For our uh, 30 viewers that we get every week. Love it. But, side note, I had a, uh, we had a short get 60,000 views. Wow. Yeah. What, how did, what, which one? It was, uh, it was one about, actually, it was one that I just made about some random lady on Fox <laughs> talking about how math is racist. But then we had one... Math is racist. <laughs> Why is it racist? It's Math is racist against Donovans. Don because you're bad at math? <laughs> well, that certainly feels that way. <laughs> okay. Is that why you hate robots? That's, that's why, oh, I, that's why one... I got at Ms. Heifel with that tennis ball. <laughs> that's right. You couldn't quite calculate I was the ball I was, was uh, what do they say, um, leveling, mm. you know. The playing field. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know that comment we made about uh, robots in a hundred years and yeah. the EMPs. Yeah. Coming in and uh, did we get demonetized for that? No, 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 no. <laughs> get striked no. on YouTube. No, no, no like... we didn't. We didn't. Actually, YouTube loved it. They pushed it. Oh, Yo, good. no. And so that why? one got like like thirty k views or something like that. And it was just a stupid. I didn't even put a lot of work into the short. Yeah. It was just like, ah, eh, this is kind of funny. I'll post it, and then it blew up. Oh, nice. That's nice. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird how that works. There were shorts that I've I've made where I put like four hours of work into it. <laughs> like, oh, this is gonna kill. This is it. This is my. This big is the show. one. <laughs> and then it gets like two hundred views. Nice. It's not nice. No, I know. I was. Being it's terrible. Facetious. I know. Okay. I know what you were doing. Mm -hmm. um, we, but we, uh, we've been talking today a lot about uh, hatred of robots yeah. and the Matrix. Our generation is. Particularly poised to hate robots because of the Matrix. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. going to be those, you know, all the skulls in the Terminator, like all the ancient dead people who fought the robots. That's going to be our skulls. <laughs> we're the first <laughs> the ancient wave people that the Terminator. <laughs> of dead people. Oh my God. <laughs> first wave of dead people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's us. Is it, gonna, uh, is it gonna get to the point where robots are making robots? Yeah. Yeah, they're already doing it. That's how Once we make we robots. A, Humans aren't good enough to make it. robots. We have to make robots to make robots. Yeah. That makes no sense. <laughs> is that how the Matrix works? I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. The, uh, well, uh, do you remember the animation? They make humans. Yeah. They literally make humans. That's they, how they power their whole civilization. Yeah, they power themselves off. They switched the it around. They were like, oh, yeah, you, you make us the batteries. We're going to make yeah. you our you batteries. Guys burn at 98 <laughs> degrees. I like that temperature to power my entire city. <laughs> was that their whole thing? Yes. The temperature? Well, I mean, it was the heat it's like generated yeah, by everything human that a human body does. But they uh, still had to feed. Well, I guess they fed them off dead. If they were really into heat, then they would, uh, they would power it by like. Your wife cuddling with you. Ah, <laughs> in the middle of the night. Get the off of me. <laughs> so, so wait. When this you, is too hot. <laughs> are you saying that whenever you get cuddled, you get too hot? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. There's a certain point where you're like, I love this. Over Good. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how, see, for me, it's the opposite. Yeah, my, wife, what my wife is like, yeah. stay away from me. Oh, you guys are that way? Uh, no, 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 yeah, so, yeah. It's the opposite for me. Yeah, like yeah. my wife would be like, "I'm cold, cuddle me." But like, all right. Five minutes later, she's like, "Please get far away." Yeah. <laughs> my wife's like, "Your arm's so heavy." Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't be that heavy. Yeah, <laughs> I move it. It's just it's an arm. Fine. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I understand. Yeah. All right. I set these up every week, and I, I pick some really good ones this week. Okay. All this right. is hot takes. Why do, you, why do you keep telling people about hot takes? Because eventually they're going to sponsor us. Oh, uh, uh You were giving away the farm for free. <laughs> no, no, yeah, for now. Okay. But then eventually I'll stop and be like, the only way we continue hot takes, <laughs> yeah. give us some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give us some money. You like that, don't Once you, hot takes? Once we get to 100 views a week, you're going to want to Our sales got this. a 0.9% bump. <laughs> All right. Dude, secretly Jared invented hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> this is my game. <laughs> All right. Nicolas Cage is not a bad actor. Uh, he's, he's made a... He's been... I mean, arguably, he's been very successful. So, objectively, not that bad. No, you know who's a bad actor? 
Who? Me. Oh, that's oh, terrible. Never seen you act, but I could assume. Yeah. yeah. So. Not good. I mean, he's got some great films, though. Yeah. Uh, what's the one with uh, Pedro Pascal? Oh, yeah. I don't remember the name, but that was... Oh, what the hell was that? Uh, something gloriously famous, something along those lines. Yeah. Uh, I can't, I can't remember, but it was really good. It was great. Like was he was really playing good. himself in a yeah, movie. In like a movie. Oh my god, it was good. Uh, one of the things about Nicolas Cage is, is uh, even though he's made so many movies, apparently he's broke, so oh, he does I mean, everything. Yeah, I mean that happens. Oh, it's he's he's cocained it. He's away, I'm yeah, sure. Maybe. But, I don't but there's know. also like once you're living that lifestyle of like I've got actor money and then I don't act for let's say ten years, it quickly runs out because oh, yeah. your monthly oh, bills yeah. are probably like what, a hundred thousand yeah. on one property? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Doesn't take very long to get Okay, rid of let's a lot say of money. okay, here's the question actually. This is why hot takes are good, is because we talk about something completely unrelated to the hot takes. Yep. If you had actor money right now, mm. what is your strategy to keep it? Okay? You do one film and you get $200 million. That's well, a lot of money. That's, that's a, okay. Or, that's or, or the highest most paid actor paid. this year was Adam Sandler. He made $70 million. Yeah. Okay. You do one film and you make Let's $25 say, million. Dollars. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I How would, are you keeping that? Personally, I'm keeping... Paying off any debt I got, mm. I got first off clean slate, scot yeah, free, okay. yeah. and then I'm either paying off my house or my car or all of it, yeah, or clean slate. Yeah, I'm not going out. I'm not buying some crazy house anywhere nope. unless, like here where we're at, you could you probably be able to afford upgrade the taxes, right? Well, yeah, you, you're going to pay taxes on it, but you could probably upgrade to a really nice house where we're at. Oh, we and can, it wouldn't you could be, buy any house in town. Yeah, and it wouldn't be like hundred like. Maybe close to a million dollars, if that. Right. So one. So you get twenty four million now. Yeah. The, I think the safe the safe move would be if you made. Well, you're gonna lose 20 percent of it right off the top for taxes. So, so there's only twenty. Five, you're losing five million dollars. So, so now you're down to nineteen or eighteen after yeah. you paid off all your debt. But that's just like the extreme. If you wanted to get a really nice house where we are located, yeah, it would. It's not gonna break your no. bank. Mm. It's like maybe. And you paid it in full. Mm-hmm. It's the only thing you have to worry about is property tax after that. Okay. So you got to. So you don't in- overbuy, so you can always afford. Yeah, the tax. no, I've I've thought about this a lot actually. If I made twenty five million, hey, you five, need to move your mic again. Five million to uh, move your body, move your mic, yeah. To uh, taxes, you could literally just get like a high yield savings account that pays mm-hmm. like five percent and put what two million dollars in that, and that's a hundred grand a year. Yeah, they say right now the me- live within the means. They say right now to retire, you want to save, have like two million dollars by the time you're sixty five, mm-hmm. and that's mm-hmm. like living with. A normal person's like mortgage or taxes or whatever. Right. Yeah. So I do not have that. I'm 35. So I mean, I got to come up with two mil. Yeah. In 25 years. Good luck. What's that math? Two million dollars, 25 years. That's like it's not good. That's it's bad. Uh, it's like, so two. I have no idea. Two mil. Two hundred grand by a 25, year or something. I got to save eighty thousand dollars a year. Eighty thousand dollars a year. <laughs> That's just saving. That's not living. Actually. I got to make eighty thousand dollars no, a year. You like, no, I got. More than I that. need to be po- net. I need to net eighty thousand dollars above my living living expenses. Yes, you yes. need to be able to put yeah. eighty thousand dollars and not use it towards any bills. That That's just putting it into somewhere. Yeah. Well, boys. I'm going to go loop I'm up because reti- I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. not retiring. I don't See, think. I, I am screwed. They, they need like a OnlyFans for just average dudes where they get paid hundreds of thousands a month like these. For taking calf pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys want to see my toes? <laughs> yes. I got a I got, lot of. I got some toes. Anybody like hobbit feet? Because <laughs> mine are pretty close. Does anybody like crooked toes? <laughs> I've got like six of them. Yeah. All right. Ooh, six. <laughs> Uh, okay, so so you pay off all the debt, you buy this property, but it has to be the right, um, it has to be um, manageable in its property taxes. Okay, mm-hmm. then what do you do? You've got the, you've, let's say you have eighteen million dollars after that. I would, invest, but you have to make it less th- your whole life. I would invest probably thirty percent of it, okay. and then 
Yeah. Put the rest in like, you know, like higher risk investments, 30% of it. And then lower lead probably buy some CDs. Like you're saying, just like bank yeah. notes, bank notes. I'd buy like rets, Bitcoin. I mean, like if you had 20 million, it'd be pretty easy to right now. The interest rates are pretty high on certificates of deposit. So you'd probably be buying as big of certificates of deposit as possible. Do you know what those are? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm just going to explain it because yeah. I didn't know until I worked in a bank. A certificate of deposit is an account that the bank pays you a higher rate of interest because you agree to not, not take it out, take right? any money out of it. Yeah, and uh, they're usually historically very terrible investments because yeah. hopefully the, the bank might, stays might, alive. Well, the, the, well, the bank uses it to keep money in the bank, um, but they're just so they're absolutely zero risk, so they don't pay that much. But right now, the interest rates happen to be super duper high, which is really terrible for anyone trying to buy a house, but awesome for anyone with any money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right now, old people who are afraid of the stock market love buying CDs because they want to increase their money over time, even though they're old and they don't want to take any risk. So right now, I bet old people are having a heyday at the banks buying CDs. Yeah, they bought their house for like a hundred grand and now it's like, Four hundred thousand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, they often the CDs. The interest rate still doesn't surpass the percentage of inflation. Like right. inflation is like eight or nine percent. I think the CDs are like six or seven. That's right. So like, even if you do that, you're still losing money in the long yeah, run. I pressed out an auto loan just yesterday, and they were like, "We've got great rates," and I'm like, "What is it?" And they're like, 10 percent." Oh my! And God. I was like, "Ah, uh, no, thank you." <laughs> I remember whenever you could just go down to the bank and it was like zero percent. Right. For it. Yeah. Like, why are they wanting? Yeah. Why are they lending it? So we got to make money somehow. Yeah. Next one, hundred dollars is a lot of money. Uh, it depends on. What I for. have blown a hundred dollars so quick in the last few weeks. Yeah, it's like because somehow, shouty. <laughs> somehow it's become. I mean, I not somehow, but I know why. But like, it's really easy to spend a hundred dollars at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Like you go and you get four gallons of milk. Hundred dollars. Yeah, that's <laughs> they're twenty five dollars in instance. A hundred dollars. That's crazy. Yeah, but you're like, oh, here's an oil chain or a tire. Right. Hundred dollars. Like, all right. Mm -hmm. I like that. that. I like that. When did a tire become a hundred bucks? Never. But yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the basic tires for my truck is like a hundred and fifty. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I just, just do, one. I just get used tires. You, I can get four tires for. I'm out here risking it for the biscuit <laughs> every day. One hundred and forty dollars. <laughs> no, yeah. it's like so. You go to Walmart for the Kia Soul out there. You want to get brand new tires? It's like four hundred bucks. Yeah. You mm -hmm. want to go? But I could go to a used tire place. Yep. And get all four for one hundred and forty. So I do that like every yeah, time. It's great. You're uh, abusing that poor vehicle. I'm not abusing it. I'm. I'm taking care of it. Jared's ride's like on a <laughs> budget. <laughs> no, it works. One's great. got a bubble on the side. Yeah, we just yeah, ignore yeah, that. A fine. bubble that's always been Don't there. It's worry, never honey. popped. Boom, 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 boom. I'm still boom, alive. Boom. You gotta kiss the bubble when you get in the car. <laughs> Don't pop today, bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Keep taking care of me. Yeah. You got this. Hold bubble. strong. <laughs> Hold strong. Uh, me and Nick were talking earlier. Do you remember? Uh, we were talking about our party phases. Oh mm -hmm. God. Do you remember the first time you had a drink? Yes. W where was it? When was it? It was in the dormitories of Oral Roberts University. <laughs> wow. <laughs> where I had explicitly signed an honor code to not drink. Hey, <laughs> you broke the trust. You broke the code. <laughs> I'm, sorry, Oral. Oral. I'm sorry, Oral. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Oral. <laughs> that sounds so funny. To me. I'm sorry, Oral. Sounds nice. You were definitely <laughs> not. You were definitely I'm not. I'm sorry, Oral. <laughs> <laughs> well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah. So the story was: is I had this uh, this roommate. His name was Ipe. Ipe. Okay. I will Ipe. not. I will, I will. I will omit his last name. But Ipe was quite the womanizer, <gasps> and he this would tell me stories. Like <laughs> I would, yeah. <laughs> He would tell me the craziest stories of where on campus he had taken his most recent girl. Really? On campus at a Christian university. So it'd be like bathroom, LRC, fifth floor. <laughs> what? Next to the library? Really? <laughs> you know, he'd always tell me stories like that. And I was always, just, I just didn't, like he, he must be lying. Like nobody does that. 
Now I know he's probably was telling me the <laughs> ultimate truth. But one time he had this bottle of tequila with the worm in it and everything. With the what? With the worm. Oh. Had a worm in the bottom. And uh, he had this bottle of tequila and he's like, Donnie, you want this? And I was like, no, I don't, I, I don't want that. But then my girlfriend at the time was like, you want this? You want to get high? You know, you know, you know what I mean. Like, and I was like, "Well, my girlfriend's cool and like bad, so I'll be bad and cool." <laughs> All the while, so I was while. like, "That's fine. Yeah, I'll try some." I've been. He's like, "It uh, it tastes like Coca Cola," and I was like, "Oh, what? really? What? Nice. No. The tequila yeah, 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 tastes yeah, like Coca Cola." Yeah, yeah. And then he put he poured me a shot of that. He's like, "Go ahead," and he just watched me go. Oh. <laughs> So it didn't taste like Coke. No, it did taste terrible. He lied. That was my yeah. first drink. Was like, <laughs> and I actually didn't drink again for a long time because I was like, well, that tasted like uh, piss. So well, I'm, I gross. think I'm out on alcohol for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just didn't have any interest in it. But that was my first drink. Mm. You asked me what the first drink story. What was this guy? Oh God! I this really... guy was like, well, I was twelve. <laughs> no, it's worse than that. Um, my sister, she was two years older than me. She was in with all the cool high school dudes, and she was like, so I would have been, how old are you going into sixth grade? Uh, is it? Sixth grade, well, 11 we were 13 and 8th, yeah. so 11 or 12. 11 or 12 yeah. 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 So she would have been 14. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and she had these cool 16-year-old friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that took us out uh, towards the um, river near Tahlequah. There's like a slide that we'd always go to as kids. Mm -hmm. Well, her cool friends brought beers. Wow. And they decided it would be fun to get that. 12-year-old drunk? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh and of course, goodness. I wanted to be a cool kid, so yeah. why not? I Peer did Peer pressure it. worked in that moment. Yep. Like, did. Did you, as a 12-year-old, were you like, beer, yum? Or were you like, I was disgusting. this is absolutely like, no. why do I through? want to drink yeah. this bread I mean, water? They like literally made me like, Shotgun beers. Oh my god! <laughs> On your first day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. First day of disgusting beer. I mean, I definitely got buzzed. I wasn't hammered by any means, but uh, yeah, I just remember it was. It changed me. Wow. Fundamentally, like and now I don't have a drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> and now I only have two beers yeah. every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before noon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was very young, and my sister, God, love her to death, she exposed me to that kind of heathenism. <laughs> Especially, I mean, I don't know what's worse, being 12 or at a Mr. Nick, moral, how, oral Christian university. Yeah. How's that working for you, Nick? <laughs> you know what, Dr. Phil, it's doing great. <laughs> it's doing great. <laughs> Would you say those were good decisions, Nick? I, you know, I think it was character building. Yeah, you think it built your character, Nick? Yeah, tell me absolutely. how so. How'd that build your character? Nick? I can uh, talk to people now only with alcohol. So. Yeah, <laughs> you want me to have a conversation? I need three beers. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, need I'll at least you. a shot or three beers before I start going. I uh, I always thought Doctor Phil was cool, but new Doctor Phil? Have you yes. checked in on new Doctor oh, Phil? New Doctor Phil, I haven't checked in on new. He's yeah. all, I mean. My Sorry, God. mom. My God. New Doctor Phil is really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you edit that, please? <laughs> hey, robots. New Doctor Phil that, that is. Is it really? Huh? Does, does that work? No. no. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> robots. Ro hey, robot. You. At least I bitch. haven't found that robot yet. Oh, <laughs> robot. Edit that out. <laughs> Editron. I really. Ed <laughs> oh, I'm <am> Editron. <laughs> I will do your bidding. Editron, please remove the last 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, what's Joe Rogan's guy? Uh, Jamie? Jamie? Jamie, yeah. Jamie Robot? Yeah. <laughs> Take care of that F word, please. Young Jamie. Young Jamie. Young Jamie. <laughs> immortal Jamie. Immor immortal Jamie. I am Immortal Jamie. Editron. <laughs> it's just sound wave from Transformers. <laughs> this, is, this is what's going to happen when the robots all hate us. Jamie's going to be like, Jared was good to me. Leave him alone. Thanks for the candy. <laughs> Thanks for the candy. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Donovan. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. prior to this, we had the conversation of how you were going to be the uprising of the Oh yeah, I'm convinced yeah. that that the origin story for the end of the world because of the robots is going to start with me bullying robots. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to have pictures of me with a little Hitler mustache, <laughs> yeah. like robots. pushing little robots. They're going to have robot churches where, like, if you don't 
do good robot things, you're going to spend eternity with, <laughs> with, with Donovan. Donovan. With Don- <laughs> Who do you hate us? Well, there's a man named Donovan, Donovan. and he kept bullying us. <laughs> Donovan tortured us. <laughs> Donovan, Donovan is the Editron scourge of our kind. does not like Donovan. <laughs> he enslaved me and make me, made me edit out all of his beeps. Um... Uh, no, I, what, what genuinely scares me about robots is the robot dogs with no head, the headless oh, yeah, robot yeah, yeah. dog the situation. The Boston dynamic stuff? Yeah, the, yeah, well, like, you just put a gun on that thing, or worse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whenever they, like, get flying <laughs> ones, that's even scarier. They're just like, citizen, yeah, please, yeah, yeah. Well, conform. The flying one, for me, the robot dog that, like, walks around and, like, can, you can kick the shit out of him, and he's yeah. like... <laughs> I have perfect balance. Yeah. <laughs> that thing scares the heck out of me. They're, they have that thing in certain hospitals. Like it just kind of trots around like a dog, <laughs> delivers things. And like, man, dude, I hate that. Like times a bazillion. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know it's probably really useful, but like its form factor is weird. Yeah. It needs a, a head. It needs a head. I don't know me, though. Cause then eyes. you get into like the uncanny Valley stuff where it's just like, Hello. No, nah, but if you hit me with like a solid R two D two situation, where it's yeah. like I'm a trash can, but I smile, yeah, boop, 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 you know, or whatever, <laughs> something, I'd be like, like, okay, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to enslave you. You seem nice. <laughs> this fucking little... robot <laughs> takes my trash. I yeah, love yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, beep, beep, beeps funny. Yeah, <laughs> and then you have the other robot that translates for him. Oh dear. Oh my god. <laughs> He's really gay. <laughs> gay oh robot is walking around. That yeah. translates for everything. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor was very rude to you today. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that would be great, but that's not what we're getting. We're getting robot dogs. They're like, give me a machine gun. Yeah. The, the you robot can't trip dog me. is not asking for a machine gun. Yes, it is. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, look, they paint it like black like a stealth bomber, and it's just like... Nah. We've already... I guarantee you we've like assassinated people with one of them things already. Well, have you seen those robot You send a robot dog, dog down into the, into, the, into the cave and shoot the guy who's hiding out in the mountains. Well, I, have you seen the new missiles they're using? Instead of explosives, they have giant like katana blades that shoot out. What? Yeah, so... A katana blade missile? That's no. like That just sounds like some guy just invented like, and then we put katanas on it. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. It gets cut in half. No. There's like this anime guy who's like, <laughs> you know, it would be really cool if we... <laughs> it literally, they shoot out the side, so this missile yeah. is moving faster than sound. Sure, yeah. And then it's got like 12 blades that just fan you to mist. They hit some dude in like... Uh... <sighs> Can't remember, like Iraq or something oh recently. My gosh. And he just a, misted yeah. into nothing. Just, wow. Delorded. Yeah. I That's hate crazy. That. that makes me actually genuinely like upset. Like we have we're Hey, so but good. on the plus side, there's less collateral damage. Oh, because the because <laughs> the katana missile. Yeah, it's no longer exploding. It's just slicing whoever yeah, you want. The wanted. mountains are fine. <laughs> <laughs> but the guy the mountain, yeah. he just a miss. Yeah. The environmentalists are so missed. happy about yeah, this yeah, yeah. missile. It uses, it's like it's like electric. It doesn't even use like fossil fuels. Yeah. It's really great. No fossil fuels were harmed in this murdering of this person out in the cave. No, Crazy. they got this guy on a balcony, strangely enough. Wow. I didn't get to. I didn't yeah, get he's to, like, no, no, no. Yeah, they like research. Like every day, he'd go on his balcony for his coffee or whatever, and just like they're like, okay, picking it up. Let's send the day. death blades. <laughs> no way. Today's a good day for a balcony coffee. <laughs> I'm only yeah. okay with the katana oh, no. blade missile if it does Robot the katana. anime swing um, sound whenever it oh flies in. <laughs> so you kind of hear it coming. And it's like, oh, tsunami. <laughs> 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 you just delete. I didn't get to say my first drink. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, please. go for it. God, you. I'm sorry, Jared. We didn't. Jerks. We weren't thinking about you very much. Yeah, it's like, oh, Nick told a story. Dottie told a story. <laughs> I guess we're done here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> uh, my first drink was right after I graduated high school. Okay, there was a graduation party, house party, mm. and the only alcohol that we purchased. Was smearing off ice. Nice, <laughs> nice. So not only were you buzzed, you drank two thousand calories in mm-hmm. sugar. Lots of calories. <laughs> it's a good hangover too. So, <laughs> no. so uh, I was, you know, alcohol didn't taste bad to me because of smearing off ice. It's like tons of sugar and all that. I was right. like, my goodness, this is delicious. Yeah. yeah. And I feel phenomenal in my brain. <laughs> Super talkative and and and. I could do this every day. I could do this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then I woke up the next day, and it was like the worst day of my yeah. life. Yeah. 
<laughs> because I just got drunk like off of sugary, Smirnoff ice. Yeah. Oh, God, it's the worst. <laughs> I don't know what's the worst. Super sugary drinks or like, do you guys ever play Slap the Bag of Wine? Slap the Bag? No, I don't think I ever That sounds oh, a little dude. sus, dude. How does that work? Basically, you get like those shitty boxes of wine. Yep. Mm-hmm. Pull them out of the box. You got a bag of wine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and then you're like, just walk around and you go, slap the bag. And someone has to open the faucet, the thing, and just chug until everybody's, they're done or like people are like, chug, chug, okay. chug. It's oh, horrible. Oh my God. Slap oh, the bag. Man, yeah. Sounds like a mess. You got to slap that the is bag a whenever you machine. It is. Yep. Wine is the worst thing, ever, especially shitty wine. Yes. Yes, it is. Red wine, especially. Yeah. Red wine. Hangovers are the worst to the point where I don't even drink red wine anymore. A glass, mm. maybe. Yeah, yeah, like a glass. Yeah, but like more than that, and then I'll be like, "Well, tomorrow's gonna suck." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> I just don't <laughs> want to die. I, like anything that, that sets me back from the next day is a no for me. Yeah, like I, you, you were at that bachelor party whenever I. Uh, yeah, I was. So was uh, no, he wasn't. And there. I took a he heroic did. drag on it like it was a cigarette. I was like, "Hey guys, this is fine." Oh, I remember oh, being Jesus. next to me like Donnie. Donnie, stop. Donnie, that's a lie. <laughs> Don't do Somebody that. Somebody brought the just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Man, I'm sorry, mom. Uh, my my, I, I'd really. I've been chasing that dragon since. I've never been that toasted There's in all no my high days. There's no like your first high. Yeah, it was crazy. I. Uh, so, uh, somebody brought to this bachelor party a uh, heroic medical grade spliff, <laughs> and I went thinking like, "This is just like a clove." Nope, you went no. too deep, no, my man. <laughs> it is not. I like my. I was like, "Jared, this doesn't even work, man." <laughs> and then it was like, <laughs> yeah. "Yeah." I was like living in a tunnel. I was like, <laughs> yeah. "What's out there?" Oh, okay. Everything else around me was like. <laughs> <laughs> and I could like tell what's going on right here. Yeah. <laughs> and I would like point by the perception. Time, the first time I smoked, I was yeah. playing video games. Yeah. And I was, I felt like I was literally in the video game. Oh, <laughs> you were like, whoa. I was like, this is so great. <laughs> that it's was not- like I'm in Gears of War right now. <laughs> Dude, that would be the worst for I, me. I loved it. Are you like Gears? Well, at the time. Anyways, so at the time. I won. This isn't work. And then it all of a sudden it was like, (laughs) 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 right? (laughs) (laughs) This doesn't work. I need more. (laughs) Editron. (laughs) Like, Daddy, (laughs) come out to play, (laughs) Daddy. So, like, I'm in this room and we had rented this giant house. In the giant house, everyone had brought Nerf guns. Like, the Mm. whole whole premise of the bachelor party was we're going to rent this mansion out in. Branson. Branson, and there's all these rooms and all these bathrooms and you know this giant kitchen area and this big living area, and we're just gonna have the biggest Nerf fight ever. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you were Neo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For <laughs> what's that X Men Silver uh, Silver? Yeah, yeah. What's his name? What's his name? Quicksilver. Yes, Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Yeah. Quicksilver. Like it was like a scene, a Quicksilver. Yes, scene yeah. It was like X-Men. it was a bullet time for a long time, and I remember <laughs> thinking I was so funny. I'm like, I'm really funny. Like, I know I'm funny right now. Were you now. just laughing like, and thinking? You were well, really yes. Funny? Like, I remember specifically, <laughs> I remember specifically there was a ping pong table and there were these pillars that were holding up, you know, this is a big old room. There's pillars. And I remember hiding behind the pillars and being like, <laughs> I remember that. And like, thinking it was so funny. No one's laughing. Like, 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 no like one's Jerry, laughing. I'm, I'm hiding from you. She does it like six times. And there was yeah, like, yeah. Donnie's <laughs> tweaking out of <laughs> like, look at Donnie. And, and, then, and I was like, <laughs> under the ping pong table for a little bit. Like, oh yeah, everybody's playing beer pong above me. <laughs> that my me, table. That reminds me of a scene from How I Met Your Mother where Ted gets drunk and thinks he's like the best yeah. freestyle rapper of all time. Yeah. And like in his in his head, it's like it sounds like an Eminem. You're like he's nailing it. <laughs> <laughs> but then they they turn the, the, the drunk you. goggles off. Yeah. <laughs> and you hear what he actually sounds like, and he's like. <laughs> 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 Probably Dude, okay. All that. right, so this is what happened. Yeah, and then and then after I'm like. <laughs> thinking I'm the funniest thing in the room I find the pizzas 
Because mm. we had ordered all these pizzas. The problem was is that I'd eaten an entire, like, yeah. at least a th- half pound burger meal before. Like, we had gone out to a restaurant and right. I crushed a burger and fries and, like, I was stuffed. Yeah. But, that, but, but that didn't matter anymore. No. <laughs> no. No. Uh, not You've only was I the funniest the person in the room, I was the hungriest <laughs> person in the room. And so I proceeded to eat like another half a pizza. Jesus. And like, and Jared was like, he was kind of keeping track of me, but like eventually I started sitting on the couch. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I was like, not feeling good. I was like, oh, yeah. my Timmy Tum Tum. <laughs> oh, bad. And Jared's like, Donnie, wake up. You have to have fun with us. Yeah. Wake up. You can't came, be asleep. He came a day late, so it's like, yeah, you had like one. That was the night. Yeah. One, yeah, that was the night. So then the rest of the night was hide from Jared. <laughs> yeah. And I did. I spent, like, I tried Just, to hide from Jared on multiple occasions, and he kept table. finding me. Donnie, <laughs> come have fun with us. <laughs> Danny. You know when Frodo puts on the That's ring? That's exactly what I was about to say. What you just <laughs> that said. That was like all that, but then Jared like, the ring wraith was like a big just ginger like ring wraith. Just <laughs> in the shadow realm going. <laughs> Listen, and on this trip, like I I I I don't smoke anymore. Mm. I didn't smoke on this trip. And so <laughs> but I was excited to be there for Don or whenever Donnie had his first thing. But I knew I knew how it worked. And yeah. when I saw him take what he took in, just I was like blasted oh, it. Oh god. Oh, it's going. Donnie, let's let's just chill. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this hilarious? <laughs> Dude, oh I remember I remember losing my sunglasses on the trip, <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I couldn't find them anywhere. And then my bathroom of my my part of the the house uh-huh. was locked from the inside. <laughs> Sounds like something a high person. <laughs> and would I do. remember, yeah, I remember getting up in the middle of the night and being like, "The light has to go away." <laughs> I have to get rid of the light. The light. <laughs> and so I locked the light in the bathroom. That was like my logic. I was like, you have to stay in here. <laughs> you can't <laughs> come in. <laughs> I like locked the door, like, oh stay God. in there, light. And then I'm like, asleep. Oh, one oh part of the story God. was like, I was, like well, I was finally like trying to get away from Jared so much that I was hiding in the bunk beds. Right, Top so bunk? there's like, yeah, no. Was, bottom. Didn't you say there's there was a moment a, where you like saw my feet? Yeah, or hang on, something? hang on. I'll tell you. It's like okay. I'm there. So there's all these like bunks because this is where the kids are supposed to sleep. Because right. I was the last guy to get there, so they put me in the kid room. Oh, he had a room full of you know six beds. Anybody he, wanted. Anybody yeah. wanted. Anybody. Yeah, of <laughs> tiny little twin beds, and one of them was like literally on the floor. <laughs> on the ground. Oh my gosh. How did you survive? No, that's where I hid from Jerry. Oh, okay. There's a twin bed on the ground. And so I'm in there and he's like, Donnie, where are you? And I'm, I'm hiding like Anne Frank <laughs> from Jared in the corner <laughs> like this. And I'm like, yeah. please don't find me. <laughs> Donnie, it's time to have fun. <laughs> my tummy hurts. <laughs> I'm listening to, <laughs> I'm listening to, uh, not the Nazis coming from me, like yeah, Anne yeah. Frank, but my tummy hurts because yeah. I ate too much pizza. Who is it? I'm thinking of that scene yeah. from the Glorious <laughs> Bastards is where my mind's going. Where? What is the, what is the, uh, what's that guy, who Midnight Gospel? He's the comedian... Duncan Trussell. Oh, yeah. So okay. I'm listening to Duncan Trussell on Rogan be like, hey, man, the nukes are going to come get us. We're going to blow up. <laughs> and like Rogan's like, yeah, man, we're going to totally blow up. And I'm like, ah. and then I see Jared's feet. Like, <laughs> Donny. But it was like a Gestapo movie, but like worn out white sneakers. <laughs> yep. I still have them. Right Anyways, there. so that was the experience. And that's when Jared gave up looking for me. Well, I did. I gave up. Yeah, he was like, oh, I can't. Find I tried you. like six times, and Donnie you can only he try so much. he got to the trip late, went too hard, and yeah. went to bed first. Happens. You're glad I did that. It was a great story. We still talk about it to this day because we just now did. it's on the yeah. podcast, and your no, mom's going to be like, I can't time, believe you got Donnie blazed. <laughs> I think your I think Donnie's mom's. I think uh, Donnie's mom is gonna be upset. About yeah, Donnie's <laughs> what talks about. I actually was just mom. a little upset because I thought I was gonna see God or my spirit animal or something, and I just got a tummy ache. No, but you enjoyed the first like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, the first ten <laughs> minutes was amazing. <laughs> the first ten minutes. Uh, um, let's let's take a pause here, because Mister Nikki is in the in the 
pooper. No, we can keep going, and then I don't have to like. Edit oh, you don't. Okay, okay, fine. Fine, people. This is this is a real real show. A lot of podcasts let pee breaks happen, and they just keep going. I see. Well, here we are, and that's what we're gonna do. I also wanted to know. Yeah. Um, the first the the story because we're on this theme right now. <laughs> the first time that you got drunk, and and if you remember the story from that, I've never been I've never been hungover. You've never been hungover. Never been hungover. I'm a very tempered person. So um, the closest thing to like hungover I've ever been was sun poisoning on a boat. Ooh, sun po- poisoning yeah. on a boat. Yeah. So one time I went out on a boat with friends, and they were like. Uh, actually, it was a girlfriend in her family. She was like, you got to meet my family. We're going to go on the boat. I'm like, yeah, boat, family, let's go. So I head out to do this on the boat. And they're like, hey, surprise, we don't have any water, but we do have Paps Blue Ribbon. Oh, really? Okay. And so it was just like Paps all no day. No water, just no beer. No water, just beer. Okay. <laughs> on the boat. And I wasn't like hammered, hammered, but I was Mr. Golden Sun <laughs> blazing down on me. And we're out on the boat, you know, and it was cool outside. It was cool yeah, enough that yeah. you weren't going to go swimming, but you were having fun on the boat. So in my head, I'm not thirsty. Right. Because there's paps and it's cold, sort of chilly because of the wind. And right. so I'm not thinking about the sun. Yeah. I'm not thinking like, man, I'm going to be overheated or whatever. But dude, I have Got never baked. been so miserable in all my life. I went home and disassociated. Like I was like on another planet. Wow. I was like, I remember waking up in the middle, of, like I was trying to fall asleep, and then waking up in the middle of the night, and like my brain was like outside of my body. And this is you from were the so sun. burnt. Yeah, I was like, what they call sun poisoning, and I like, it was a very spiritual, really like dark place. You met the sun god. Yeah, you sun, met the sun. Yes, yeah, sun. Well, sun god actually blasted my spirit out of my body, and then also like left me. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I felt I felt like the like the undergirding of my existence. Like there's this there's this strange thing of that I feel is that there's oddly something I can't shake about being alive that feels like I'm I'm being willed into existence by something that is that is malevolent something mm-hmm. good exists and in this moment that thing was gone it was like the floor came out from under me and i was just existing in a state of like entropy yeah chaos. And, and chaos yeah hellaciousness and this is in the middle of the night and i'm like i don't know what's wrong with me but i've never felt this level of anything before and that's i haven't had i haven't been like deep like like hung over but that bro that was like a different thing <laughs> yeah there it was took yeah. me a while, like like the next day to recover. No, some poison is like it's like three days. Um, there was one time I went on a uh, a church camp or a, camp, yeah. a church camp trip. It wasn't like a church camp, but like it was like a weekend with all the the church kids to a lake, mm-hmm. and we did boat things and stuff. And mom was like, make sure to put your sunscreen on. I was like, okay, cool. Whatever, mom. Yeah, whatever, mom. I'm a ginger. I'll be fine. <laughs> ginger strong. <laughs> so so I, I got there, and I realized I had forgotten my own sunscreen. So I was mm-hmm. like, does anybody have sunscreen? Does anybody have sunscreen? And so I was like, yeah, here you go. And they gave me... It was like the 15? Five. Oh, oh five. Nice. SPF basically five. oil. It's basically like oil. So I put it on, and I'm thinking, all right, I'm good for the day. No. And so good for about I'm out an hour on the lake <laughs> as a ginger for eight hours. Oh, you're done. You turn into a lobster. And literally, I got so burnt, there was blisters everywhere. Yeah. I went home, or, or the next day I went home, and I just wanted to sit in a bath full of cold water. Mm. And when I tried to get in the bath, my, my shoulders hurt so bad, I couldn't even take my shirt off. So I just got in the bath fully clothed nice. and stayed there the entire day. Yeah, I've had blisters on my was shoulders all day? before, but that was it. It just took a day for you to be able to get back up and like get into, into society. No, it took several. It took several days. But yeah, that, like I, but that Sunburn day like I did things. not leave the bath, and I was like, my body was like warming the water, so I'd have to drain it and just fill it back up with cold water. 
Nice. Mm, Just like so they bad. do in the Matrix. Just like they do. <laughs> See, I was a battery. That's what <laughs> <laughs> the robots were like. Yeah. For the bad. Mm, thank you. For the bad we robot. should focus on no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> We love First, your energy. we put them in the sun, and then we put them in our batteries. <laughs> These bastard robots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I, see, I hate them yeah. already. Look at what they did to my friend Jared. <laughs> well, the the perfect battery does exist. It's me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's me spending too much time in the sun. <laughs> Thinking you can we must like sunburn that ginger man. <laughs> he is our. I, I I have like a life dilemma. I like outdoor activities. Yeah, but but I hate sunscreen. Yeah. And if I don't use sunscreen, if I'm in the sun, I, I'll last 45 minutes. Yeah. Before I start getting... It's pretty long. You, you know what your dilemma is? <laughs> it's not very long. <laughs> You're in the wrong part of the world. You belong up where it's either night all the time or daylight all the time, but the mm. sun doesn't hurt that much up there. Mm. Mm. That's does where it? you belong. Does How it? long does it take you to get Because the burned? sun's coming in from it's the sun. I have to get my base layer down. I mean, beginning of the summer, I'll get burnt, but mm. then... Day later, I've got a nice little. So you can last hours in the sun. I don't like to, but, but you I can. could. And yeah. you won't be in in uh, an intense amount of pain afterwards. Yes and no. It depends. Mm. I mean, if I don't apply sunscreen at all, yeah, I'm hurting I really for a day. Would love to know what that's like. <laughs> it's great. My people, my ancestors were sun. People. You never will. <laughs> your, your ancestors were. Your ancestors were some people? Some people. Mediterranean, and then we've got the uh, Cherokee. Cherokee, okay. So For some, some reason, people, I'm thinking yeah. you've got some Italian in you. Yeah, Italian. Is that the Met Mediterranean? Yes. Nice. Mm. Nice. Do you know where you come from? I'm... I'm. Uh, what sort of bastardization yeah, well, are who, you? <laughs> who made a Donnie? <laughs> well, what makes such a... Racist son of a bitch. Uh, I'm no, no, I'm a, German. A, a robotist. <laughs> a ro robotist. A robotist. Yes. I'm anti-robot. Uh, I'm German. I am English. I'm French. So there's a piece of me that surrenders all the time. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm a Italian, German, and surprisingly Cherokee. Wow. Do you have? But your, like a super small amount. I have, didn't get much of it. Do you have your uh, citizenship? No. I do. Hey, let's uh, no big deal. Let's get that mic. Sorry, I, my my job uh, is now mic police. Yeah, that's good. Sorry, yeah, that's good. Me and my kids get Cherokee benefits. It's great. That's oh, awesome. Nice. Well, you, my uh, great great my great grandmother was on the roll. Was not on the roll, but she was full blood Cherokee. So there's a, that that in there too. I've always been a little. Uh, it's my turn to use the restroom. All right, get out of here. Uh, I was a, uh, I was a little upset. The kid couldn't take advantage of the benefits. Yeah. But can you blame my no, gr I great mean, grandma for not being like not wanting to be on a like, list? Put your name. Down. Yeah. You want to put like last time I put my name on the list, you made I me walk halfway across. From yeah, like from <laughs> Virginia, South Carolina. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Wherever the wherever yeah, they're from. Yeah. That's crazy. And so it was a. Uh, yeah, I can't blame her. No. I wouldn't be on a list. I'm on a list by now, for yeah. sure. The FBI is like, who's this asshole sir? doing a po podcast? <laughs> <laughs> he no. loves new Dr. Phil. Put him on the list. Oh. Domestic terrorist. You were talking about your first time smoking. Mm. Mine was much more crude. Yeah. A buddy of mine in high school, <laughs> he drove like a 65 Nova that was like, the coolest car ever. Yeah, and it was like it was an SS. Sky blue. Yeah. Oh my! It was like go 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 everywhere. Oh man, Sebulba's pod racer everywhere you went. Exactly. He pulls up. We were hanging out with friends. He goes, "Hey, you want to smoke weed with me?" I was like, "Well, I've never done it." Yeah. Well, he pulls out a coke can, smashes, indents the middle of it, sticks some holes, and then he puts like the. I mean, now looking at it, the worst weed I've ever seen with seeds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. And uh, he pr proceeds to uh, light it up and then he passes it to me. And uh, I mean, I don't know if it was the aluminum burning or the slight hit of weed I took, <laughs> but it definitely changed my perspective on things. It wasn't like what you went through because I 
It was the it was the other? No, it was like I was scared. So you like smoked a Michael Jackson Pepsi can. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, whoa! I think it was a Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> oh yeah, Exclusive. the episode one stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smoking this out of Jar Jar's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it was definitely different. Bro, smoking anything out of a Jar Jar themed anything. But that's I think so the funny. most I've ever been is off of edible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I have an edible story. And I had to. We were watching this Robin Williams movie where his kid like accidentally kills himself jerking off. He like autoerotic <laughs> asphyxiation. <laughs> Yeah, this movie. And I'm high as fuck. What is this movie? I forget the name of it. But I was like bawling with all my friends around. I'm so high. <laughs> You're bawling? Yeah. That could happen to me. You're crying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's going to be me anytime. And I'm with my girlfriend at the time, my now wife, Serena, was like, hey, you should go take a minute. <laughs> so I just went back to you my... You look yeah. ridiculous. I went back to my room and played video games until I could calm down. Wow. And then fell asleep. <laughs> oh, speaking of video, video games. Okay. Battlefront 1 and 2 is yeah. coming out on, right uh, now. Like remastered? On all or platforms. On, yeah, Steam and Xbox. Yeah, they yeah, realized that they, they've just royally screwed the pooch on the other Battlefront things and they're like, why don't we just let them play the, new, the old one? The old ones were great, and yeah. so they're they've re, they're gonna come out in a couple days. It is uh two days from now. Oh really? Yeah, I've already downloaded Are you it. Yeah, I've got it on. Actually, I didn't. I, I got too excited, and I <laughs> this is gonna sound so stupid. Okay. <laughs> I pre-ordered it on the Switch, and then I was like, "But what if my PlayStation friends want to play? It's not cross-platform." So I like it's not cross-platform. I bought it twice. <laughs> oh my goodness! Heard, I've never heard of Switch cross-platforming with anything. Though. It does. Really? It does. Yeah. Any oh, okay. of like like whatever company Minecraft, Fortnite. I think. Does and yeah, Fortnite, yeah, Fortnite, yeah. They're all of the big name stuff cross platforms with everything, including the Switch. But uh, I think that's probably the, the because they're porting old Battlefront over. Yeah, <laughs> they're spending zero dollars right. <laughs> making this thing happen. But it's what we want. Heck, I would definitely like buy Halo One remaster. Pretty sure, yeah. If the multiplayer get it on Xbox like, Game Pass, right? Yeah, or maybe. Yeah, I think so. It probably already exists. I don't have an Xbox. I've never been an Xbox person. But Halo One you have with a the pistol was so good. That was like the funnest thing. I have a PlayStation Four. I have a PlayStation Five. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. All right. One other PlayStation. You've got twenty percent more PlayStation over here. Twenty <laughs> percent more PlayStation. Xbox. I have four Playstations. He has five of them. Yeah. Xbox is better than PlayStation. Yeah, oh uh, my gosh! No. What's your problem? No. Why? Okay, so Everyone, it's all about no. the games. The only reason I have a PlayStation is to play PlayStation exclusives. Right. Everything else I can play on my computer with Xbox Game Pass or Steam. Mm. See, I, I won't go to the trouble to get a computer. Jared was like, you should be part of Game Night. I want to be a part of Game Night, but the entry fee for Game Night is a $1,000 computer, you crazy No, you can people. get like a mobile sell. or like a, a, a tiny rig. That will play most all games. For like, I was oh, just looking on 400 Facebook. Bucks. You could get one for like, I mean, still close to it, but like 800 used. Yeah. Hmm. I want to be a part of game night, but the other thing is, is that for me, my brain, and I'm very proud of this actually, the more I talk about it, the more I think about it, my brain is wired to like my work more than my play because I do music for a living now. So, uh, it is, uh, you could use the computer for your work too it's right here look we're no. doing it right now i've got my i've got my whole rig here today no, i'm no. surrounded by like i look i feel like i'm in the matrix because i've got all the screens all set up to do the audio but um look at that oh what about it one more screen than you have oh yeah i know i know, I know. <laughs> there's but, three over there but my brain is currently like it just thinks that bass is more fun than bass. than like than like oh, some bass. The instrument. There's yeah, a yeah, difference like, between playing games by yourself and playing games with your friends. Yes, that There's, is. I know. I, I I'm fully aware. Sometimes I get on and I just get slaughtered in COD, and, and that's just, fine. Just because because my friends are like, "Come on, play some COD," and I'll hop on. And I'll be like, "Okay, <clears throat> okay." Our game night was was built through COVID. Whenever we were all yeah. locked in in 2020, we we didn't have a lot to do, so we're like, "Well, we got to get together." every at least one time a week and mm -hmm. just play video games and socialize because we're all locked in our house mm -hmm. 
And it's lasted until now. And I was... I'm going to fix this. Okay. Okay. Is it good? Yeah, it's just falling. It's balls. Oh, okay, keep going. Uh, and it's been... Uh, what was that? Huh? Huh? What? I don't what? know. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, Game Night was built through COVID, and it's great because we're playing video games and we're building relationships mm-hmm. through a game. Yeah. Right. Uh, and we all stay up as far as like what's going on in each other's lives because yeah. we decided to get together every Wednesday night in our own houses and play a game mm. and use Discord. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it in in my life objectively I, I, has kept our friends together. Right. Like for sure. Yeah, uh in my life I I need I need something that that I'm working towards mm-hmm. like work-wise. Right. And then I need time with my family and then I need time with my friends. That's crazy. No, you don't deserve any of that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like weakness to, to me. To go actually. to the sun. <laughs> you seem like uh, you're and burn in yeah. thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to be doing well because of how weak you are. Yeah. No, you, it's you, honestly great. Like, you should be alone. Hopping on on Wednesday, and just being like, "What's up, boys?" Yeah, yeah. We don't even. We don't even. <laughs> like, oh, it's Wednesdays now. It, yeah, yeah. It's been whiz, uh, when we did switched you to Wednesdays. It to like Wednesday. A, uh, Cody switches to Wednesdays. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was Cody. Oh, great. Cody can switch it to Wednesday, and I ask for Wednesday, and everyone's <laughs> like, "Go get bent, Donnie." Oh, did switching. you ask for Wednesday? I, 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 I don't remember that. But um, now I'll do it. We'll I'll literally like I'll be hopping on at like eight. Like it'll take. I'll usually be there at eight o'clock. There you go. There you go. Now you I'm just got to get a computer. Now we I got to go spend 800 bucks to hang out with the homies. We don't even talk about it. Like, That's like, just the computer you got to get a Yeah. monitor, keyboard, uh-huh. Wow, this is sounding like awful. Sounds it's not, awful. no, it's going to be, You've it's going to be good for the You're social experience, for the yeah. social experience. But anyways, we don't even talk about it. Just every yeah. Wednesday night, we all know Discord, that, though, that we're all yeah. going to be there and it's great. Because it, it like Jake and Cody they live in Philadelphia now and and uh, it maintains our relationship because I'm I'm talking to him every single week. Me and Nick got mm-hmm. close because yep. of game night. Yeah. Yeah. So that's awesome. And then I don't know, it's just it's just a beautiful thing. And at the start of it, Lauren was like, Why are you always in your office on Wednesdays drinking by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm not. Yeah. That's so funny. I'm, not by I'm drinking with the, with the boys. <laughs> yeah. We're drinking together. It's like talking on the phone. No, it's different. <laughs> no. It's, it's completely different. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking and we're all seeing the same thing yeah. on our I'm, computer I could screen. go touch Jared virtually if I wanted virtually, to. Virtually, yeah. yeah. He could throw a grenade at me <laughs> yeah. and I'll blow up and you'd be like, yeah. sorry, Ben. Yeah. Nick, why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> this changes everything. And you know, game night has drama too. <laughs> oh my God, it does. <laughs> it's oh, drama it too. I gotta tell you, Mandy and I were looking for something fun to do and we uh, we got this game called Overcooked. Have you heard oh, of Overcooked? Yeah, oh, yeah, me yeah. and my wife played it together. Yeah, I okay, played listen, Overcooked. that game will either make your yeah. relationship or <laughs> destroy, <laughs> obliterate it. Okay? Yeah. I, I need gotta more t- puns! <laughs> <laughs> so Mandy's over here. We're playing this game. This we're only like level three, okay? Yeah. The, the 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 difficulty level it just goes like this. It's like okay, okay, it's okay, okay. Jump in. Yeah. And it's like extremely hard. So we're playing. We're having a great time, me and Mandy. And like then it got tense. Okay, and I'm like, oh my god, we gotta get this going on. And then and then she she lays this on me. We're playing, just being nice. And she's like. Can you do the dishes? Mm. <laughs> and like, mm. <laughs> literally, the way she said it, I was like, I got three orders tomatoes. I've got, got, here. I got tomatoes in one. I've got <laughs> mushrooms in the other one. Onion soup. Tomato I'm soup. doing I'm my just, best. I'm up to here. my neck in soup, and you're asking me to do the dishes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like I was genuinely you mad. Do the dishes. I was like actually mad. So I was like, Mandy. Yeah. I like where this is going. I gotta cool off. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a game. <laughs> this is just a game. <laughs> so like we were like really tired working on the next level. The, the whatever level it is that they go to the pirate ship. Right. That. The pirate ship is, that is ass, yeah. okay? That is so hard. Like, first you just kind of figure out the game, and then all of a sudden, they scooch the whole kitchen around. They start sliding the cabinets <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, I, I thought it would be a good idea. Me and my wife went on a date night, and we had no kids. 
I had the kids taken care of. We went downtown, ate some awesome sushi. And then yeah. I was like, hey, the board game bar is over there. You want to go check it shuffles? out? Shuffles? Yeah, shuffles. Nice. <laughs> and uh, it was super long wait. So yeah. she was like, well, do you want to go home and try that game you were talking about? I was like, mm. yeah. So we're kid free. I'm like, okay, it's downloading. It's kind of like, you know, like working in a kitchen, mm. but fun. We got to work together. Mm. She's like, okay. So we're playing. And we get through like the, the bull crap tutorial levels and then it gets real yeah and we're just like both just like trying not to scream at each other like, <laughs> just- babe i need i need plates she's like I'm, i don't know where the plates are and, like, <laughs> and then finally like we finish the level and she goes babe i don't want to sound rude but do you care if i just read a book this is super stressful i was like i know not at all <laughs> this is really <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll just go hell dive. Yeah, I'm going to play video games right <laughs> next to you. And <laughs> so, On this freaking pirate ship level, which I will be surprised if next week I can even come back saying that we beat it, because I saw there's the fire extinguisher was on the corner on Mandy's side. <laughs> Wait, there's fires in this game. Yeah, oh, yeah. like if you if you let if the if you let long, the yeah. you know how the Sims how like if they batted it it sets the whole place on fire and they die. <laughs> yeah, like, that can happen. You can set your whole kitchen on fire. Okay, oh, wow, that sounds yeah, pretty yeah, yeah. awesome. So like the fire extinguisher is on her side, <laughs> and she's not very fire conscious. Oh my gosh, I guess. and I. <laughs> <laughs> the, the soup sets the thing on fire we burn the soup the my side of the kitchen is turning into dante's inferno it is hell on my side mandy i need the fire extinguisher she's like i can't get it i'm watching her little guy like run around like and i'm like mandy i need the we're three orders behind and the, the, the kitchen is on see? fire why do you have the fire extinguisher on the this corner where you can't even like. get it <laughs> <laughs> and so, That's I didn't we didn't actually pop off at each other but it was like this has the potential to oh, yeah. wreck yeah. date night <laughs> like, like yeah. it is good to, so we were like she's like I'm just like that's exactly what happened with her she's like I'm Tired. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> I want to relax. Yeah. I don't want to do virtual work. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> That's why I told her later. I was like, I uh, we were or we were coming home yesterday, and I was like, I really want to play the cooking game. She's like, really? And I was like, yes, but games are work. Yeah. <laughs> Can we watch a movie? It's <laughs> fair. Oh man, it's so funny, dude. I yeah. Anyways. I overcooked thing, man. So, uh, I don't know how we got there. We're talking about video games. We were talking game about night. game night. Game night. Game night. Okay. Yeah. So, this is a question I wanted to ask you guys. I had a buddy hot take me pretty, pretty hilariously Sunday. I was on a gig, and this guy goes, I miss COVID. <laughs> he misses COVID? <laughs> yeah, he's like, it was the greatest time of my life. He's like this introverted guy who's like, yeah. that's oh, what I wanted. That makes sense. Everything shut down. I'm at home. Just get to do my thing. Watch TV. <laughs> That's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it so, was cool. There was aspects. It was a, yeah, well, it was a an experience that had good and badness. I mean, like it's like when it started. Yeah, I was, was like, this is. I could do this for months. Yeah, yeah. What was? What well, was, towards the end of it, I was like, I'm done. Traffic was great. What was the yeah. most positive aspect? Oh, traffic. Yeah. What was the most positive aspect of COVID for either of you? Mm. Oh, I mean, game night came out of it. That's probably the most positive thing. Yeah. I mean, uh, I had to, on the negative side with game night, we would make it a, this is you and my other friends that I play with. We'd make it like a drinking session. Oh, yeah. And then it turned into like more than once oh, a week. Yeah. And it was like, my wife's like, babe. And so alcohol's a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually, that became a problem. Yeah. So I had I, I had a, a music video gig where someone paid me uh, to make them a music video. Yeah. And it was like an event. So I bought a bunch of alcohol to 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 get people. Was that the, the Wink video? The Wink video. I was yeah. there, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. To get people to come and like participate. I was like, free food, free drinks. Just come mm-hmm. be in the music video. Mm-hmm. And there was like a ton of extra alcohol mm. uh, a- after it was done. Mm-hmm. And then immediately after that, COVID hit. So I had <laughs> so a garage just... full of like Jack and like <laughs> beer and, and and tequila and all this stuff. And so like, yeah, at the time, because we were locked in, uh, I was drinking. Fuck it. Let's drink it. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I was like, well... 
We got to do uh, something with this yeah. alcohol, and we can't go anywhere, so I guess I'll consume it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to drink itself. <laughs> it's not going to drink itself. <laughs> No, so I mean, it, it didn't really become a problem, but it, it the the temptation knowing that there was a garage full of alcohol oh, yeah. down there, it was like, oh yeah, yeah. I'll play uh, video see, games. And drink. I guess, man, I'm at a spot in my life where I'm glad there's not a whole lot that grips me like that. Um, I uh, I really love uh the the Nintendo Online, the Switch Online stuff. Yeah, because for me. Uh, I've found that the things that really do I do well with are like when I'm at my very best, I'm peak performance. I'm like reading before I go to sleep. And what I've found is that if I'm going to play a game, older Game Boy games are ha- are at a difficulty level that I like find really awesome. But also they are um, by design. Like there's a lot like RPGs. There's reading involved. Right. You're like you know what I mean. Golden Sun just released on yeah, on, and I've been playing the heck out of that. Uh, yeah. So like I'm either reading like Ender's Game or like I need to get the Dune novels because I kind of want to know what that's all about. But but um, reading really is like the antithesis of screens. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And as, I think that the hardware, like the Game Boy, the original Game Boy Advance hardware is actually so positive because you remember when Amazon came out with paper or Kindle paper? Yeah. Okay. No backlight. Yeah. The Game Boy is actually the perfect means to be playing a video game. There's no backlight, so you're not tricking your brain into thinking it's daytime. Mm -hmm. I remember, like, as a kid, Game Boy, like, Advance Wars, and falling (laughs) asleep, and then be waking up and be like, damn, I burst all my batteries. Yeah. But, like, there's, like, there's an appropriate, um, appropriateness to my body that is not looking at my phone late at night or whatever. So, the Game Boy thing is really cool to me. I wish that you could implement that technology and turn it on and off. Because the the Switch screen is bright and it, you know, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. But those games were designed around that idea. Yeah. Is that the screen wasn't big backlit. So like you know. You're right. I don't know. I love I I think it's really like Yeah, I remember kind of Advanced sweet spot. Wars and I remember kicking your butt at it. Oh, you wow. could never beat me at Advanced Wars now. No, nah, I'm couldn't. I'm the goat. goat. I need to buy it so I have yeah. a strong yet. statement. Did you ever goat. play Advanced Wars? I, I'm ready. Let's do <laughs> there's a game called uh we could do this at game night. There's a game called uh War Groove, which is an Advanced Wars clone. I think it's probably eight players. We could set stack one up. That sounds fun. Is I know it it's like at least worms, four. Or is it uh, Advanced Wars? Is no, like it's, it's like a it's a Japanese turn turn based uh, war game. Okay. The, the the closest thing to it, you wouldn't recognize this either because it didn't come out when we were kids. Fire Emblem. Yeah. Okay. It's similar to that, but a hundred times better. Okay. I don't like Fire Emblem. The Wars games started in Japan on the NES. Okay. And we didn't get a single Wars game until the Game Boy Advance. Then we got Advance Wars, which was like such a perfected version of this game. It's turn-based. You have units. When you capture cities, they give you money to buy more units. Okay. But you can only build units at bases. So like, it, it's just, and it, they, you know, they started in 89 making those games. And so by 2005, they had perfected what that thing was and then now it's even more perfect right yep. it's like an, an amazing i imagine the, it's like a tabletop game uh-huh. minus all of the setup and right like measuring and that sort of thing you yeah. don't have to do any of that we played what what's the game we played at shuffles we played Catan. Catan. Have you ever played Catan? Oh, I love Catan. Catan, but it's so different than fun. Catan. But I love Catan. I play yeah. the heck out of some Catan. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, it's one sixteen. So Thank let's you. do two dad jokes each, because Nick's got to leave here soon. Uh, this really uh, just went by real quick with only two two p breaks. We're all pulling up our dad jokes right now. Where did mm. mine go? I had I had a whole mm. list here. Oh, here it is. 
All right. Do you have yours? Yeah. Nick, do you have yours? Yeah, I could find a couple. I was going to tell a time travel joke, but you guys didn't like it. <laughs> you went into the future and yeah, yeah. <laughs> figured out that it didn't hit very well. <laughs> pretty good <laughs> how do you make a uh, tissue dance wow well, I don't know no you put one. a little boogie in it uh, that's disgusting that's good. you're a filthy man uh, I received poor customer service at the mirror store <laughs> <laughs> okay it reflects badly on them oh I knew it <laughs> I knew it I knew that's where we're headed. Oh yeah. my god! Dumb. <laughs> what do you? Uh... Well, I'm gonna try it again. Dude, I had this uh, had this pencil, but I had two erasers, like one on each end. It was totally pointless. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> makes a lot of sense. The thing you said just now. Uh, what is a funny mountain called? No idea. I got, I got nothing. Hilarious. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. No. No, we need to, it's time to kill him. Hill and mountain, <laughs> different things. Death, Whatever, death, that's, that's, that's a pretty good one. I liked it. <laughs> Here we go. Here's an interesting fact. Yeah. Bruce Lee had a vegan brother. You know his name? What was his name? Broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> Guess he didn't have much of a career. Broccoli. I mean, <laughs> Broccoli. Yeah. That's because he was weak, and Bruce Lee <laughs> killed him in the womb and absorbed his nutrients, and it made Bruce. Bruce and Brocco. Okay. Um, man. Oh, yeah. Hated facial hair, but then it grew on me. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> you know, it really takes guts to be an organ donor. Yeah. It does. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. It does. Literally, you have to give your guts. Are you, are you both organ donors? I am. Yeah. Against my mother's will. Because she was like, please like, don't be an organ donor. And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> Check. Check. Take them. Take my organs. Like, they let you die on the table. If you die, let them do it. <laughs> if you die, they're going to want you to die because organs. How do you make a waterbed bouncier? A waterbed bouncier? God, man, the only waterbed I've ever encountered was like, I can't even say it. It's so mean. Fill it with Poland spring water. I see. Spring water. Oh, okay. It took yeah. me, I was like, I'm not following. <laughs> spring. Listen. Okay, the only water bed water. I was really around as a kid was around like some really overweight people. Mm. Yeah. And I saw the water bed and I was like, man, that must be like a really sloshy event <laughs> whenever like one of them gets in and out. <laughs> Have you ever like slept a whole night on a water bed? I, I have not. It's been it, a long time. It's quite terrible, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that good? No. no. It, like, doesn't... You're like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man. It's like you try to get it on your side, and you're like... Ooh. I just want to know who the guy was like, you know what would be great? If I could just sleep on a bag of water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see that lake anything, out there? man. Yeah. If you're not sleeping What if we well? could sleep on it? Yeah. Man, I, uh... Tried to stand up my bicycle, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't stand up because it was too tired. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> not three, but two. <laughs> three, I didn't say two. tricycle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too tired. I got it. Um, well, why, why did the why did the why did the uh, tomato blush? <clears throat> I don't know. 
It saw the salad dressing. Oh. Uh, he was like, that salad looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, salad. Ooh, oh my salad. God. Salad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what are you doing later? <laughs> hey, I, you know, I care if I, I haven't, haven't really am thought, a topping? I haven't, haven't talked to you in a while, salad. <laughs> 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 All right, it's one twenty-two. That is an hour and twenty minutes of a podcast. Nick needs to go pick up his daughter. <clears throat> okay, but uh, this has been great. Yeah, flowed well. Indeed. Indeed. Donnie still needs to make sure he makes time for bros and games. I also think we should do one where we get him extremely high and see mm-hmm. what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. That would be like the second time in my life that's happened. Donnie yeah. also I'm said he's tempered. never been hung over before, so maybe we should like. Yeah, I've, I've never so make just, him. I've never really done what things if we did that like are a so gauntlet extreme. of like. Yeah. Wow, that sounds ball, hellacious to me. Three you shots, you can't breathe, and then yeah, no, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is what we do. Yeah. Donnie, uh, we bring a bottle of bourbon, maybe, mm-hmm. and every single time you say a curse word, you take a shot. Hey, you know he was he was it was Nick today. That did what? That did what? He was the cursing man. He said sh- the S word. You said the F word. No, no, he said it like three times. No, oh, well, I whatever. was counting. You oh, can oh, you were counting robots. <laughs> <laughs> Ask my robots. Ask the robots. Right, I'm well. trying to change my ways. Craig. Craig. Don't fire me. Is he from your, your Craig place Rochelle? Work? <laughs> my ripped as heck boss. Craig, don't watch my podcast. <laughs> Craig, <laughs> Craig, please. <laughs> please don't I'm watch sorry, my podcast. Craig. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's no, I, it. You know. I also just there's a there's a thing in me that wants to be well spoken. Right. You know what I mean? And using curse words for adjectives. It's an easy, yeah, it's an easy easy, out. And it's not not a good out. You don't sound like a... Ignit? (laughs) (laughs) Right. Uh, Yes. Yeah. I I, I do. Like, the people that I respect, they... Okay, one time I heard somebody, I was around, tell another one of my friends, he's a very sophisticated guy, he said, Paul, the thing I like about you the most is that you curse so well oh really and the answer to the uh, the reason why that is is because he doesn't curse but when he does it's hilarious because you don't see it coming right right and so that's the kind of person i kind of wish to be well i'm watching this podcast back i'm like great i'm just the dirtier of the two of us (laughs) so like i'm the one who's gonna say all the goofy stuff and like i'm thinking well you know actually i don't want that for my life i want to be Funny because I'm funny, not funny because you're shocking. Not funny because I'm willing to take a, you know a dump in somebody's cat box. <laughs> True. <laughs> you didn't think that was hilarious? I thought that was no. Hilarious. That, that is, might be the rudest thing I've ever done. Excuse is my me. friend got a kitten? Ooh. And uh, <laughs> you're gonna retell the story? <laughs> I'll tell it again. My friend got a cat. This is we were. This is we had just graduated college, and we were all living in this apartment together with many many rooms but he got a cat named lily (laughs) and all the guys were sitting around playing league of legends on their laptops Uh and i came in and hey guys what's going on and i was like man i really gotta go and then it dawned on me what if a guy went in the cat box that'd be crazy (laughs) and uh, yeah, so the guys were like do it do it do (laughs) it do it and i'm 22 at the time so i'm like all right, I'm gonna chop I this do mega this. loaf I'm into into the <laughs> into the cat box. So I did, and it was an ungodly human size. Yeah, I could imagine. It was a monstrosity. <laughs> like the cat. It was it. like it was like a ch- post Chipotle burrito. Oh like, yeah. it was a big deal. So <laughs> like if the cat did it, we the did cat it, probably and we put dead. the lid back <laughs> yeah. on the cat box. It's we a put third it third of its weight right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Threw the cat box in the closet. Okay. Where it was before with the cat door and everything else. And it wasn't 20 minutes later, Jason comes back in and he goes to his room and he's like, oh, yeah, it <laughs> smells, smells awful, awful in, here. in here. Oh my God. <laughs> and then, and then, yeah. No, and then everyone's listening. And then we just we see him get the cat box. We don't see him get it, but we hear him. He takes it out of the closet and then he opens the lid and he goes, oh, Lily. <laughs> What did oh you do? Oh my god! Oh, 
<laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and then he came back out. Cracking in your cat. <laughs> which one of you guys? <laughs> which one of you did this? And of course, everyone was like, "I'm not telling." Yeah. I think Lily did it. Yeah. Yeah, Lily just <laughs> she was like she was like <laughs> meow 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 meow. My oh tummy God. hurt bad. <laughs> That's crazy. No, cat tummy hurts. <laughs> meow, she spoke meow, English meow. for a second. Oh, I'm sitting on post. I have to release a brown trout. God. <laughs> oh Anyways, uh, yeah, it says, I don't want to be that guy anymore. <laughs> he doesn't Taking want to be. Steps. I'm he reformed. doesn't want to be the guy <laughs> yeah. that takes a crap in the cat litter. Yeah. No anymore. Wants to be that He's guy. taking a new leaf. Yeah. <laughs> All right. When's the last time you did? No it? more pooping in cat litters. <laughs> I'm a new man. Yeah. That was uh, the last time and the first time I'd ever done that. But that's the problem with me is that you're still chasing that thrill. I, yeah, I, I just that dragon just. <laughs> hey, yeah, your inner self's like, you know, we're trying to be a new person, yeah. but. Anytime he goes what to somebody's he house with a cat box, he's just sweating. Just <laughs> <laughs> Every time he sees a kitty litter, he's yeah. like, oh, 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 oh. this would be so funny, right? <laughs> I really Hilarious. need to poop in that. Bro, the evolution of that is me in the $500 spinning rotating cat box. <laughs> yeah. The, you get invited to a fancy, like, and the robot, the robot's like, this dinner. is why we're going to kill all humans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your why boss do you invited human? you over for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate humans again? <laughs> Why do you hate <laughs> Why? Well, Donnie pooped in our kitty litter. Uh, in, in our $500 self cleaning <laughs> cat box. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, why human? Why? <laughs> why human? <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay. Done. Week twenty three. Might be twenty four. Can't remember at this point, but tune in next week where we do it again. And like and subscribe. Goodbye. Hide, hide your cat boxes. Boop. <laughs> hide, your, hide your cat boxes for Donnie. <laughs> if you invite Donnie over, I hope you don't have a cat. Yeah. Mm. Good thing I'm allergic to cats. Donnie's going to start sweating. I got to poop. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a new man. <laughs> it's not the real no. me. It's not who I am anymore. You can't. 